Probaga, welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE 2K23 My Rise, the lock series uh, where we take on Billy this as the lock. Now, in the previous episode, link to it by the other top right hand of your screen as per usual, where we helped Hector Flores, he is chosen by our side, but we were attacked by Los something something, so that's where we shall be picking it up. From. I'm sorry for getting you too involved in all this. That attack was my fault. You didn't know that was going to happen. And now, this is our fight too. We need to get revenge. But putting Chosen's mask on the line is taking things too far. I'm not a masked luchador, but I understand how important it is. Losing your mask can destroy your career. It can tear you apart both professionally and personally. So I've made the decision to call off the match. If this is our only chance at revenge, then I'm willing to take the risk. We are doing that much. Wow. What about your image? Your social media following? Your plan to be the best in the world? You could lose everything while we have nothing at stake. I know, right? It's what you would do, right? I mean, true. I don't know. Before you went to WWE, the answer would have been yes. I actually looked up to you back then. What? You? Looked up to me? Yes. You are so confident in everything you did. I know, right? But then you failed in WWE. And not because management held you back. You held yourself back because you lost that belief that you could succeed in any situation. God damn. You made excuses and blamed everyone instead of just doing the work. But I'm not going to make the same mistake. God damn. I see. That's a uh, lot to digest. No, it's so much to digest. Are you sure about this, Chosen? What if we lose? We just won't lose. It's I can simple. overcome any setback. That's actually another lesson he taught me. I mean, look at how terrible things got for him. Yet, here he is. I mean, he threw everything away. Like, it got really, really bad. He was a prama at the airport. Dude. Okay, okay, I think we get the point, but... I know, right? How about we just don't lose? I know, right? That works for me. All right. Let's do this. Man, I was getting praised in one hand and then completely torn down in the next, like, good lord. Anyway. Uh, a gigante mask versus hair match will take place at our year-end arena Estatal Magiavento Mania Magical. Good lord. Anyway, let's just go. I could not pontificate any more of that sentence because I am not Mexican or Spanish or Puerto Rican. You've had some time to think about what Chosen said. Were you surprised that he looked up to you at one point? Oh no, I'm the best, not really. Not really. No, right? I mean, I've had a lot of younger guys and even peers tell me they admired what I did before I got to WWE. No, right? As for his theory about me losing my confidence and that causing my big downfall, no truth to that at all. But. This mask versus hair thing is a huge deal in Mexico. It's actually called a lucha de apuesta, which means match with wager. Nice. Someone finally did their research. You know, right? Like you said, it's a tradition that goes back a long way in Mexico, so I take it very seriously. I might have had my differences with Chosen, but he's putting so much on the line by agreeing to this. So, I'm going to do everything I can to not only get payback against Legado de Lotharios, but also protect his mask and legacy. We owe him that. Legado de Lotharios. Hey, that's a mouthful. Anyway, uh, that mouthful aside, I think it's time for us to go protect Chosen in this hair versus mask matchup. Uh, I'm hoping it's not going to be, oh, it's going to be a three versus three. What, what am I even trying to hope for? Uh, it's gonna be hard. That's all I know. But uh, it doesn't matter how hard it's gonna be. I know that we can do our very best and do everything in our power to come out on top because that's what we are always meant to do, as per usual. All right, so here we come. Yeah, this entrance is boring, not gonna lie. Not because of me, it's because of the two people with me. The 
here are the Los Letharios. I'm also gonna skip it. Because it's basically the same looking style. It's a 3 versus 3 tornado matchup. It's gonna be carnage. I don't even know who I'm fighting. What's his name? I'm fighting Santos Escobar. I hope we can simply win this match without it being too problematic. Oh, Santos with the reversal. Psych! Facing. Okay, I do not know who I'm facing. So, I am facing Humbato. Okay. Whoa, getting me dizzy and stuff. Okay, we need to go help uh, Chosen. He's in the ring by himself. Don't worry, buddy. I'm here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Nice. Chosen has been doing a number on and hell. It's pretty cool to see. Oh, did, is that not a reversal? Okay, I guess I can't reverse that move at all. For whatever reason. Man, Hector Flores has had a number down on him. Heck, I've had a number down on you. Facing. Oh, it's in battle. Which means we could. Which means we could find our way to trying to get some signatures around.
Finally chosen. We just threw in somebody's finisher. One of our partners. Oh no. I'm like, where's one of my partners? Because it's two versus one in here. should really stop fighting the same person. Now. Nice. Dude, just pin him. Being him. But the victory is right there. Chosen Hector is getting destroyed out there. Just won this matchup. To be honest. Come on. Yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's time for some people to lose their hair. Uh uh, nah. -uh. You guys are not gonna run away. Someone needs to lose their hair. Come on, come on. We need the shaving equipment. Come on. Yes. Yes. 
Oh no. Yeah, somebody had to lose their hair. Yeah, better hide your hair, you guys. outcome if I do say so myself yeah so hopefully that should be the end of that storyline so that we can now proceed on to the main bigger part of the story which I am looking forward to this is man the storyline is yeah it is the storyline has been getting good so check our socials Legado de Lotharios might be looking a bit different the next time you see them after getting themselves into a hairy situation at Lucha Magica <laughs> Lebaldo de Lutharis. <laughs> yeah, Tasha Tasik is pretty cool. I'm gonna lie. Alright. Uh, in our DMs. Yeah, we really went outside our comfort zone. Alright, so this is us. Oh god. Yeah, I just can't with Chosen. I really just can't. Yeah. Oh, just dude. No. 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 Anyway. Uh. Yes, we can. There we go. We are now a 97 overall. And if you check the story progress, we have nothing left to do other than go to stealing the show. So. It's the big one that we've all been waiting for. Let's get it. Have you heard what Naum Dahl's been up to lately? I've been a bit busy winning matches all over the world, so no. I haven't had time to keep up with Noam Dar or NXT UK at all. Well, you're in luck because I have been watching and I'm really good at concise, informative recaps. Noam Dahl is now both the NXT UK champion and holder of the Heritage Cup, oh, which reminder is defended under British rules. Recently, he issued an open challenge for anyone to face him for both of his championships. Not bad on the recap, know, right? but could have gotten to the point quicker. That open challenge is intriguing. Not gonna lie. If you're interested, I can put some feelers out with NXT UK. Uh -uh. I am, I am interested in answering interested. the open challenge, but don't bother reaching out to NXT UK. I have a different plan. WWE likely won't play ball with me after how things ended. So what if I showed up unannounced? Uh, are we doing an invasion? Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. What happens if you win? We'll see from there. I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I'll play it by ear. Alright, so uh stealing the show and we get the men's NXT UK shot. So this is a story gate. Playing this will advance the story and you'll be unable to return to the play optional storylines you may have not completed, except we have completed all of them, so it doesn't matter. Uh right, so we are about to open a story gate that will take us to the next uh story because this is story thirteen out of thirteen. Or in any the main part of the story that is required to fulfill uh the requirements to move over to the next story i that was a very long-winded explanation to say we are moving on to the next story after this part so yeah. nxt uk and heritage cup champion look at that Dar nxt uk championship his open challenge yet again and is waiting for anyone in the locker room it's actually better than the intercontinental championship so not gonna lie Defeat the dual champion. Hold on. We have an unexpected trespasser here. Do your job, security. We're not focusing on what's going on to not give any publicity to someone who's unauthorized to be here. It looks like Noam Dar wants to let him stay. Then I guess we can say his name. The man formerly known as The Lock is trying to stage some kind of publicity stunt by showing up here at NXT UK. It's not a publicity stunt. I may no longer be a WWE superstar. But that doesn't stop me from answering open challenges. So I'm ready to do this if you are. I know, right? Noam Dar has informed me 
that he will accept the challenge as long as the match is contested under British rules. Oh, Doc. As far as we know, The Lock has never competed in a British rules match while Dar specializes in this style as Heritage Cup champion. I accept. I'll do it. Let's go. Brilliant move by the champ. A guaranteed way to send this unwanted visitor home, beaten and embarrassed. NXT UK Championship is WWE better looking than the Intercontinental Championship. NXT UK Championships. This is insane. Please, for the love of God, no MDR, just win this match. No, he's not going to win the match, so you know. After a shocking turn of events, the former WWE Superstar wants to ask the lock has just turned NXT UK upside down. That's right, Michael. He showed up out of nowhere to challenge Noam Dar for both his NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup. Pretty ambitious, if you ask me. He may no longer be the lock, but he certainly looks locked into me. And he better be if he wants to come out of this British rules match with some new hardware instead of a restraining order. Oh, please. I'm coming out of here with both. Proof of the announcer to think that I also don't want the restraining order. Oh, my God. Wow! Alright. Oh man, this match is gonna be easy. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Ah. What is up, Noam Da? I'm pretty sure you did not expect me to be here. Dar is just getting knocked around. Dar's defensive instincts need to kick in. Ooh. Psych. And now there's an opening. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Dude has no idea that I've competed in British rules matches ever since I left WWE. Oh boy. A sling blade. Followed up with a basement drop kick. And oh Munsold. Just picking him apart now. He's gaining the upper hand here. Uh oh. Give me that first fall ref. Is it an arc? Two and a half. I thought for sure he was done. Nice. Let the fight continue. Able to evade. the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. A oh, double star right to the arm. He's running on empty right now. Yeah, he's got... Uh-oh, second rope. Oh, huge oh Lord. Able to give him the slip. don't know what it's going to take. Yeah. And that was a well-targeted attack. I know he reversed me. Psych. Great minds thinking alike. And that fell okay. to hit the mark. Oh my god. Alright, this gets you stunned, which means you can't reverse this. And the we go! Just give me my first fall. That's gotta be it! Two! He kicked out of two! Wow. Unbelievable presence of mind! Wow. I thought he was unconscious. It is a. Getting it cinched in! Come on, ref, give me my first fall. A normal man would have submitted by now, but not him. 
Come on, Ref, give me my fast fall. Man, what's up with this guy? I've never seen somebody struggle this much not to tap out. It's insane. I'm he even done. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> makes the cover. It only gets a one count. This is where great cardio makes all the difference. Helping you stay alive deep into the match. And no aim is countered. Oh, no, he's reversed my signature. Dahl's defensive instincts need to kick in. Great job refocusing the reverse. Let's try this again. Just wearing down the opponent. After everything, these two men have been. Come on. Yeah. Give me my first fall. Funny thing is, that used to be how CM Park used to do the Anaconda Visa originally. The first time he came to the W, and I absolutely loved that move. Uh -oh. What a hard to run! But only be hard! Alright, Namda, give me my second fall. Here we go! So glad I found him to win. Looking for the victory! Give me my second fall. There we go. Disgruntled former employee just yeah. walked in. Two NXT UK championships. Yeah. This is a dark day in WWE. Yeah. It is, but more importantly, how do we move forward? Is the former lock back in WWE now? This is pure I don't care. chaos of the worst kind. I don't know what's going to happen either, but maybe the new champion can shed some light on his next move. Look at how good that championship is. Career since I left WWE. I've been busy rediscovering what made me the next big thing and the lock in arenas all around the world. Yeah. But one thing's been missing. I haven't had any hardware to show off. I know, right? That changes now. Wrestling fans everywhere. This NXT UK Championship and that Heritage Cup are coming to an arena near you. What? Are you kidding what? me? Is he stealing the NXT UK No, I want it. I'm not stealing. And Heritage Cup? It certainly looks that way. Again, where are the police or the bobbies or whatever the hell you want to call them here? Now you can add assaulting security and a referee to the rap sheet. Yes. Somehow, a dark day in WWE just got even darker. I might as well cancel the rest of the show. Just shut it all down after that. Well, I don't care what you do with the rest of NXT. It remains a known fact that I am now the NXT champion and NXT UK Heritage Cup champion. I have two championships at the same time. That's what I'm trying to say. And yes, the NXT championship looks much better than the Intercontinental Championship. Not gonna lie. Oh Lord. WWE does not recognize me, but every other wrestling feed in the world does. Alright, The Rock says he sees me and everybody knows who I am. Nice. And then stealing them. <laughs> yeah, sure, thing chosen. Anyway. Ah, hi, Sean. How are you doing? Really? Lawyers? That's the best you got. Anyway, what's up, Davish? What is up? So, that's what you meant by playing it by error. Huh? Yeah. It's what felt right in the moment. You've always told me to trust my gut, right? All right. Sure, but sometimes your gut is wrong. I mean, after all, it's just a gut. It's got no brain cells or anything. Yeah, technically speaking, it does have a number system, but anyway. Are you not on board with this? No, no, I'm on board. It's just, you know, lawsuits and such. A bloody hell. I stick it at WWE. That's more, That's like, more it. like it. So, you're the master planner. Where's the first stop on the I stole the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup World Tour? We need to think of a catchier name than that. What? We're going to take things back to where this crazy ride all started. Bro? 
um uh where where did this crazy thing start anyway what has everyone been watching seen anything good lately or or just attention craving clowns showing up where they don't belong sure wow he became wwe champion Ooh. yeah i know right i'm the one who's trending not slid whoever his name is or whatever his name is or whatever i don't know but yeah so i do not know where we are going maybe we are going back to ww i don't know but uh maybe i don't know i don't know because he said you're going back to it all started and i know it all started at monday night Raw. so um i don't know why, why am i even trying to predict when it's gonna happen like right in front of us wait this is where it's all started oh, hello I guess we'll be defending it against this big brute. This big behemoth. The big guy who apparently is so athletic that he can do some super moves. And if I'm not mistaken, it means I'll probably do this in the Mexican arena and the Pro Japan wrestling arena as well. Not that I not that I mind to be honest. Should be all fun. At the end of the day, it's all about having fun, and I am actually having fun. Plus, guys, check out the NXT Championship. Tell me it doesn't look better than the Intercontinental Championship. That's it. I really disliked being the Intercontinental Champion. Not gonna lie. Oh, it is time to begin. Okay, my title defense is not off to a good start. Okay, I was going for a psych, but I, apparently the game says I did not reverse. What's going on? Am I a fake champion or something? Good lord. Okay, I guess I'm a fake champion. I am so sorry to disappoint you, ladies and gentlemen. Ha, psych. Psych. Anyway, it's time for me to now bring in my damage. After all, I am a 90. I wanna say 5 overall. Maybe. Give or take. I don't know. Maybe 95, 96. We'll see. Alright, let's do this. Oof. That did not go well. Psych. Yeah. Psych. Okay. Psych. Okay. Psych. Yeah, the trend show. I can do this as well. Oh, it's trend. You think you're safe because you're outside the ring? No one is ever safe from me. Come on, Trent. Show me what you got. Oh, yes. You gotta love it. Come on, Trent. Show me what you got. Oh, yeah. Win the match by pinfall or submission. Okay. really going for this championship which i mean i don't i can't blame him he's probably his one chance to become an actual champion Hell. i'm just gonna ignore the fact that he's been the better wrestler so far in this matchup but it's also because i'm literally trying to master the energy to take him seriously okay I'm kinda done not taking him seriously. 
Oh, what a move. What a move. Oh, Trent, you are stunned. And I'm here to take you out. He kicked out. He kicked out. You can't this, Kent. You can't. Oh lord, he's actually fighting it. Can't believe it, he's actually fighting it. He might not be able to reverse it, but here, yeah, yeah, he's fighting it. I'm not gonna be able to get him to tap out like that. If you do not reverse this strength, the match is done. Okay, you did. Psych! If he's not reverse this, the match is done. He did not reverse this. Good lord. And there it is. My talk. Come on, give me my championship, ref. Doing it, thank you. So cool being the NXT UK champion. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Alright. What else do we have to do or is just or is that just it? Or was my inclination correct in saying that we'll probably be going to so many other locations which we've been to? Like LA wrestling. Yeah, he's always singing wrestling, but honestly, how long can this go on? Is there a plan here? Or is he just avoiding a real challenge of returning to the place he failed? Excuse me? All valid points. Have you talked to him about this? I tried, but he didn't want to hear it. Plus, there's possible legal action from WWE. It's gonna get ugly. I might have to do what I do best and gently guide him to make the right decision. I don't know if I've ever seen you do that. Not right. Come on, we're going to miss our flight to Mexico. And since when do you do interviews? What are you even saying, anyway? Time to go. All right, so we're heading off to Mexico. It seems you're gonna be defending our championship as well uh, in that arena against an opponent. Uh, who? I'm not so sure, but yeah, we're gonna find out. So I don't need to be sure about who we're gonna be facing. Okay, it's the same entrance. No need to watch it. It's unskippable, apparently. Okay, it's unskippable. Never mind. Ah, dude still has a shaved head. So the championship is on the line again, as per usual. Uh, we shall be facing whoever this dude is. Uh, the goal is to destroy him as quickly as possible. And then once that is done, uh, get ready for the next matchup as per usual. 
strike. Angel. We are facing up against Angel. Alright, so win the match by pinfall or submission. Those are still the specific match rules. Okay. We are at Lucha Libre Magica. Oh Lord, I'm so sorry, Ref. Plus, I know that this guy is an actual WWE superstar, so this is a good barometer to test ourselves against. Come on, let's do this. Ooh. Oh. What, you think you're safe because you rolled out on hell? Classic rookie mistake. I don't blame you. That's a classic rookie mistake. Two. Oh, yes. Yeah. Alright, Angel, if you do not reverse this finisher, this might just. Uh, it won't be done. You are still a bit too healthy. Plus, you reverse it anyway. So it's fine. Okay, now you are not too healthy. I can tell you that much. Oh, love this move. Ha. Get back down, dude. I have a very cool move I want to do on you, but I need to set you up at the corner. No, this is not the cool move I wanted to do on you, never mind. Let's try it again, shall we, Angel? Oh, you reversed it. If you do not reverse this finisher, you are done. Oh, you are so done. You are so done. Right. Who is our next opponent? Who shall our next opponent be? We are waiting to see. Uh, ref, my championship, thank you. Right. So, who is going to be our next match up? Um, this is getting a bit too old. I do now agree with Tavish. We really need to get back to WWE. Broke us some sort of a deal. False count. Okay, so apparently we're going to Japan to face Chosen. In a two out of three falls matchup for these titles as well. Okay, it's fine. We will do it because Pro Wrestling Japan also allowed us to uh, compete in the Apex tournament, which allowed us a chance to win our name back. You know, it's time to go back to the WWE. I think we've achieved everything we could do. We've achieved everything we could achieve in the independent circuit. It's time to get back in the big league. As usual, very unskippable cutting. Despite the fact we've seen this entrance like two times now.
Right, so let's go do this, shall we? Start this. Ah. Okay. Oh. What a hit from Chosen. Oh no. What do you think the home fans are cheering for? Chosen or me? The villain. Chosen. Show me what you got. Nicely done. Let's see if I can actually make that move work out. Apparently not. I talk. Psych. It's a two out of three falls match. So we need to work hard for the first fall. Getting the first fall is always the hardest. The second and third fall, the second fall should not be an issue. Chosen. Oh, no. And if you do not reverse this, the match is well, you would lose your first fall. So I hope you do. Nicely done, chosen. Now, if you do not reverse your own finisher, you lose your first fall. You did not. Oh lord, chosen. Anaconda Visa. Come on, chosen. We get our first fall. One more fall and we finish this up. Ah, that was easy. Yeah.
the two out of three falls, we've already gotten our two out of three falls in like quick succession. And there we are, we won in the pro wrestling Japan scene circuit as well. So, what do we do now? Because I believe uh, that's enough running around. I'll, I'm gonna be sick if you have to go to this in Los Angeles wrestling or even, um, what's it called? BCW. Yeah, I'm glad everybody's telling Gabe to shut up. Anyway, uh, what's up, Davish? We've got a bit of a problem. The NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup have gone missing. What? I swear I had them through customs when we got back. Do you think the airline somehow lost them? Or maybe they were stolen? Ah, oh, this is bad. Okay, just calm down. How can I calm down when the two things that have helped make me the hottest thing in wrestling are missing? Uh, let's get this straight. You made yourself the oddest thing in wrestling. It's not about the hardware. And they're not missing. I made a deal with WWE. What do you mean you made a deal? You've had your fun, jaw-riding around the world, but now it's time to face your challenges head on. And that means returning to WWE. Oh, so, about damn time, I agree. I handed over to the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup in exchange for you getting your job back. Yeah, I get why you did it. I'm not sure I agree with how you handled this, but I get why you did it. You're right. Maybe it is time to go back. Yeah, it is. I am right. And are you honestly surprised I did this? It's kind of my thing. Yeah. No. Should have seen it coming a mile away. What can I say? I went with my gut. I wasn't going to sit back and let you make the same mistakes I made in my career. So you're going back to WWE to become the megastar you were destined to be. All right. I guess we're headed to Raw. Yeah, it's time to finally go back to Raw. And yeah, this is finally what we need to be doing. I'm glad that you're going back to WWE. And... This time around, we are going to be doing things our way. No more the lock things, no more joining a faction. We don't want to join none of that. It's certainly been a wild ride lately. I didn't expect it to happen like this, but I think deep down, I knew someday I'd have to go back to WWE if I truly wanted to prove myself. Tavish was right. It's time to take this challenge head on and make up for how things ended. This time will be different now that the handcuffs are off and I can be myself. But and there's only one goal in mind get to the top and become WWE champion. What? Now that you can be yourself, are you going to show up in WWE with your current look, debut something new, or return to being the lock? This current look. Current look. Current look. Like I said, I've had a lot of success on the international scene. I feel comfortable with what I'm doing and I want to keep that going in WWE. You mentioned how your goal is to win the WWE Championship. That's interesting because since you've been gone, your old faction mate Slade has broken through and become WWE Champion. I don't care who the yeah, champion is. Slade, or as I knew him, Gabe. Look, I don't care who's champion. But it could be an old friend, it could be an enemy, or someone I've never even met before. It doesn't matter. Whoever it is, I'm taking their title. You think everything will be okay with WWE management after you basically hijacked their titles? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Alright. So, I do not know if WWE management will be happy with us, but we don't really care. So, alright, so we are definitely in the next phase of, uh, what's it called? We are definitely in the next phase of the story, and yeah, WWE has been pushing this road as a champion, but I don't care. My time has come. It's my time. Here we go. Just like riding a bike. Only there's a horde of angry men trying to violently knock you off. Sure. You got this. What's up, punk? It's been a while. Meet your new and improved replacement. <laughs> we'll be seeing you around. Oh, that championship looks so good. 
It's supposed to be mine. That was awkward. <laughs> At least you haven't run into Shawn Michaels yet. If I had to guess, he's saving that for later tonight. Probably. Not that I care though, because we are here to win the championship. If you can win it on the first day back, the better. But knowing 2K, they are not gonna let me do that. Anyway, uh, we've heard all the rumors and can confirm that Bill this is turning to the W Raw tonight. In addition, Shawn Michaels has will have an important announcement regarding the Locks future. <laughs> Whatever, man. Ah, uh, who's in my DMs? Hector Flores. Thanks. Alright, we need to do some upgrades. We only have 16 points. Wow, we are on 97 overall. Good lord. Hi, Xavier Woods. What is up? No welcome back gift basket? Alright. No, not after what happened with you last time. I can't even look at our WWE 2K game cover now without having flashbacks. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm actually sorry. I'm sorry. I was under a lot of pressure and trying to find my way with a new faction, but I've gained some perspective in my time away from WWE. So what do you say we start over? Thanks, sir. I can consider that, but an I'm sorry gift basket would help your cause. Okay. If that's all it takes, then deal. And maybe a skywriting apology message as well. Good. Don't push it. <laughs> Don't push it. All right, so let's go continue the story and see what our first night back on Monday Night Raw has in store for us. I really want that WWE Championship. It's it pains me that that idiot is a WWE champion. Literally speaking, it pains me. I I am physically in pain right now. I I'm having a hard time breathing. For that matter. Who knows what we're about to hear from this man, but either way, it should be interesting. I just can't believe he's back. Yes, I am back. Did you ever think you'd see this again? I didn't. See, the last time I was in a WWE ring, I was fired. Everything I had worked for was gone in an instant. I was lost. Without that fight to be the future world champion, the lock. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. I know that. I didn't know where to turn next. But then I realized that even though I was knocked down, I wasn't knocked out. There was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE. New challenges, new stages, new fights. So I set out to conquer that wrestling world, and I did. Leaving WWE no choice but to bring back the man who had been cast aside as a mistake, never to be seen again. Fox. But the man you see here tonight is not the same man who was fired. That man was the lock. Right. And I'm here to tell you the lock is officially dead. Box. Box. From now on, you're gonna get the real thing. Oh yeah. The man who went out and fulfilled his potential all around the world. Yes. Unfiltered, uncuffed, oh, yes. and unleashed. Right. And now nothing stands in my way from doing what I already did across the globe. Yeah conquering this last territory by winning the WWE Championship. Damn straight. But now that I'm back, what's really... Ugh, this guy. Here we go. These two have some serious history. We heard Shawn Michaels had a major announcement regarding this man's future. And this could be it. Beautiful speech. Almost even had me believe in you for a second. Not to rain on your comeback parade, but let me hit you with at least a drizzle of truth. You might have managed to win a few matches while you were gone, 
and pulled off some cheap publicity stunts like invading NXT UK and taking their titles for a joyride. But let's get one thing straight. You don't belong here. We tried everything in our power to help you succeed, and it flat out didn't work. So despite everything you just said, I'm not inclined to try again. Don't go. Well, I'm back. I know, right? So you don't have a choice, do you? I know, right? Yeah. About that. You might have maneuvered your way back to WWE, but that doesn't mean I can't make your life a living hell now that you're here. So what? You're gonna force me to be the lock again? All right. Nope. But there has been a slight revision to your new contract. Little detail you might want to consider. Which is? And that is, if you don't become WWE Champion within 58 days from today, which just so happens to coincide with SummerSlam, you will be gone from WWE permanently. Hmm. Forever. How about I just do it tonight? Or as you said, knocked out. So yeah, good luck with this whole comeback Dude, thing. Dude, why don't you just do it right now? Wow, that's shocking news. You might not want to walk away when I'm talking to you. I know, right? Didn't work out so well for you last time. Yeah, I did it, Sean, huh? It. Yeah. Yeah. Do I need to repeat myself? 58 days. Why Ooh, that? Hey, Let's do it today. Give me a championship match against my old buddy Slade, and we'll get this over with tonight. Not right. Why wait? No chance. 58 days. Please. It's WWE Champion Slade. Slade looks determined as he heads toward the ring. Yeah, determined to prove that a hell of a lot has changed since the former lock left WWE. Who's the championship glitching? Taking a back seat in the past, but now he's the man on Raw. That's all fine, but as boss Shawn Michaels just said, there wouldn't be a title match tonight. So I'm not sure what Slade is doing out here. If you haven't noticed, things have changed around here since you've been gone. In fact, if anyone's the lock now, it's me. Since unlike you, I actually became WWE Champion. Yeah, Duck did for WWE. Convenient how that happened when I was gone. I know, right? Are you saying I'm only champion because you weren't here? Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Let's get this straight. I'm not threatened by you. Doubt it. So if you want to take your shot at my title and try to save your job here in WWE, then I actually agree with you for once. Let's do this right now. Oh yeah, let's do oh, this, this right now. Gonna I understand, but I got this. Trust me. Michaels doesn't look too thrilled. Okay, fine. You got what you wanted. The match is on. Yeah, wait, wait. Let's do it like right now. To WWE Championship match between two former faction mates right here, right now. I don't get this. The championship deadline was set at 58 days. You don't give the man a title match on night one. I agree, Corey. There has to be more to this plan. Nonetheless, here we go. Really? I need to get my glasses checked to make oh, sure this God. is actually happening. But I actually have objectives. I actually have objectives. I'm not winning this championship. <laughs> oh, man. We're not winning this championship, boys. from Shawn Michaels is WWE Champion. Oh my God, he almost saw it. where the hell do you think you're going? Here we go. Oh man, just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. And play I cannot believe it. DDT. I cannot believe I'm not gonna win this championship. Out. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Right out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, 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 
foot, meet face. And he can't defend any offense coming his way. Yeah. All I'm saying is, if I was given a fair shot, this championship would be mine. It wouldn't even take that long. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. Here's the pin. Title on the line. The challenger triples out in one. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Oh, boy. Drop toe hold. I like that he's actually trying. Fight. Oh, no. He did not reverse. Good blood. Got him set up in the... Psych. What next? Attempts to pin him. Okay. Yeah. We have a new champion here. One, two, what the heck? Oh, of course. Oh, of course. What kind of behavior is that by our VP of talent development? Sean wasn't going to let the title change hands like this. Not with the championship deadline in play. MVP and Braun Breaker from behind. The Hurt Business is taking advantage of the interference from Shawn Michaels. Oh, of course. Was this all part of the Hurt Business and Michaels' oh, plan in accepting the match? And Breaker nails the military press power slam. Now Slade's going to try to steal this. And of course, Shawn Michaels is now helping the referee back oh, of in the Of course. Oh, of course. Slade got him. The champion oh, of course. The challenger never really had a chance against the combination of the Hurt Business and Shawn Michaels. I, I don't see how he can win the championship in the next 58 days my, with the deck stacked against dream, him like this. My show. You don't belong here. I do. This is of just course. getting worse now. Is this really necessary? I respect it. Don't get me wrong. I respect it. But WCW of course. Superstar Tavish. He's been a mentor to the Rock and played a key role in his resurgence. And now he's playing a key role in his beatdown. This is too much for an aging veteran to overcome. And Braun locks in the recliner. Breaker's going to force him to watch as his mentor is taken out by the Hurt Business. No, no, no. He, he's going to do it. Oh, no. Steel chair. This is not how he expected his big return to go here tonight. Welcome back to WWE, Locke. You've got a long, daunting road ahead of you. I agree, but I don't know about the long part. He's got less than 60 days to take Slade's championship, or he's gone from WWE forever. Man, we are back this in WWE, indeed. Certainly long odds to overcome. Yeah, we're definitely back in WWE, that's for certain. But yeah, this is where we shall be ending off this wonderful episode of ours. So, yeah, in the next episode, we shall be seeing how things are going to be taking place. But as for now, we definitely know that this deck well, first is stacked night against back. us. How you doing? I've been better. I wasn't planning on fighting the WWE champion and his entire faction. Thought maybe we'd ease into things and build up to that. No, no, not really. Yeah, same. Well, thanks for trying to help. I had no idea Sean was going to pull that stunt with your contract. What do you say? 58 days to win the title or you're gone? Yep. SummerSlam or bust. Well, I doubt you're going to get another opportunity tonight, so really, it's 57 days. How many actual events is that? 57 days is like eight weeks with one Raw a week plus a premium live event. So you might have what, like nine chances left? Then again, it's not like you're going to get a title match every show. They actually might do everything in their power to never give you another title match at all. Is any of that supposed to make me feel better? I know it's going to be tough, but I've already overcome so much just to get back here. I'll figure out a way to beat this too. But I believe in you. I really do. But this feels different. Doesn't you think matter. I can't do it? No, I think you're outnumbered. You can't just brute force this on your own like you always do. You're gonna need help to pull it off. I got you, don't I? As you saw tonight, it's pretty much the same as being on your own. Ew. You need to lean on someone other than me. You did it in Mexico, now's the time to take it to the next level. They have numbers. So even up to sides. So you want me to join a faction? That didn't work out too well the last time. I wasn't saying you should join a faction. 
I was saying you should start your own and lead one. You're ready. Fuck. I guess I don't really have another option, do I? Not unless you want to keep getting beaten up three on one for the next 57 nights and then be gone from here for good. Yeah. Well, then I better start looking. Clock's ticking. Alright, so it seems we need to start looking for faction mates because uh, fighting three versus one every night until you are out of that the is definitely not an option. So, uh, I do not know how we are going to be creating a faction, but uh, return to raw story has been completed. So, uh, looking onto social media. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, 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 man. Uh, in my DMs. Yeah, sure, Chosen. Thanks for the support, I guess. Alright, Hector is telling us he's gonna be there to help us. So we already have one faction member, which is pretty cool. So if you check the story progress, uh, ready for battle and how to win friends and influence superstar. So, I'm thinking all of these small things is, basically speaking, me looking for faction mates. All of those. And then yeah pretty much so uh attributes yeah we have enough to upgrade another point which takes us to and it's still at a 97 overall but it's fine but yeah so again legend difficulty as usual but this is where we shall be ending this episode before we start the next one in the next episode as we try to build up uh, a faction for ourselves so I will catch you guys in the next one. So stay safe, be smart, be kind. Tell someone you love them today. And I shall catch you in the next episode. Bye guys.